In today's video, we eliminate all four bosses in one game and show you guys how to eliminate them quickly and where to find them. So first off, we're going to go over to Cerberus, which is located over at Grimgate. This one gives you a movement medallion, which is going to help us move around the map to get all the others. So here we are at Cerberus. You can summon him in here. You can challenge him. Throw down that statue and then he will spawn. Now, he won't exactly spawn straight away. He'll first spawn his wolves. You've got to complete two waves of the wolves. They're very easy. They've got a long spawn animation, so it gives you a lot of time to shoot them. And they probably won't even hit you. So you don't need to worry about them. As long as you've picked up one AR, you should be good to go. I recommend having two automatic guns for all bosses. I'll explain that as we do get into the main fight. Here again, spawn animation takes them a while. You can take them out easily, even with just a common AR like I'm doing nicely here. So, then Cerberus spawns in the center here. And we can take out Cerberus really easily just by aiming for his head on his spawn animation. He does do a Wolverine Claw ability, which takes him a little bit of time. And you can just take him. You can switch to a shotgun or whatever weapon you've got and take him out just like that. Very easy, easy elimination. And he'll drop this really cool medallion and his obviously his gatekeeper weapon which we're going to use a little bit the shotgun we probably won't use it to be honest but we might do so here's his medallion this allows you to kind of gain a little bit of a charge and allow you to sprint with quick bursts in the air it will reveal your location on the map but it's nice to have and we're going to use this to rotate over to the underworld that's where the hades boss spawns so we can summon him in there and challenge him now each boss fight's a little bit different so i'll give you guys the best tips that's probably the easiest one, I think, just because the wolves are so easy. And he does that spin ability in the air, which really slows him down. And he just doesn't always hit with it if you're at range. So if you've got ranged weapons, you can take out Cerberus really easy. So Cerberus is dead easy. So anyway, let's move away from here and head over to Hades because Hades is going to be over at the main location, the Underworld, the brand new POI, as well as Grimgate. They're all brand new POIs. But yeah, Hades is over there. Let's go and check him out and we will move over there. So I'll speed it up while we run over. So as we're running over to Hades, I just want to say 98% of you guys that watch the channel over here aren't already subscribed. So tap that subscribe button. It means the world to me. And don't forget, before you buy that battle pass, enter in code POST. That's P-O-S-T. Pop it in, guys. It does go a long way and helps support the channel. So enter that in and you can help support. Anyway, we've all arrived at the Underworld. Now, all we've got to do is summon in boss Hades. So head over to this statue here and you can challenge Hades. You throw down the statue again and then Hades will spawn on his throne right in front of you. Now, you can't actually hit him on his initial spawn animation. You can see he's quite hard to hit. You've got, again, to clear his NPCs, the minions. They're easy, again. They're a little bit more difficult than the wolves because they can hit you, but staying still is an advised technique or take cover behind something and just take them out with ranged weapons. They've got less than 150 HP, so a few shots and they get taken down most of the time. Now, some of them will have a little bit more HP if they are connected to Hades, like this one here. You can see it was connected to him and it did do a little bit of damage to him. You can see his health bar has gone down a little bit by being connected. The other ones that aren't connected aren't as strong. So that's easy. Again, I stand behind this box and you can shoot him on his spawn animation. He has really low health, Hades. He only has six bars in total. So two machine guns should be able to finish him off. If you've got better accuracy than me, which probably 90% of you guys do, you're going to be able to finish him. So we take him out nicely and now we get his mythic, which is here, which is going to be Hades, I believe, SMG. And then this new one here, which actually grants you siphon on elimination. Anyway, we're going to speed it up and head over because it's a long distance to travel. But while we're traveling over here, I just want to mention if you guys haven't already played Toy Box, all of the new weapons are being added into Toy Box right now. So you can use Zeus's mythic, you can use all of the new mythics and all the new weapons inside of here, as well as the wings. Pop in with the code on screen. I'll see you guys in there. Okay, we've arrived. Teleported over to the location of the Mount Olympus. This is where Zeus spawned. You can challenge Zeus on this statue. This boss is a little bit different. He spawns on his chair right here so i give you guys some advice on taking them out again use the spawn animation to your advantage you can see i've already beamed half of his health there using hades's smg which we just got before i've almost eliminated well technically not yet because i take him out switch to the other one easier to switch the reload it gets him half down on his health now he spawns his minions similar to hades but kind of like reverse so you got to take out his minions now to actually damage zeus again so zeus is just going to be just disappeared really he's not really here at the minute until you damage these minions once you take these minions out zeus will eventually reappear you can see his bars at the top when he's going to reappear well he's still there he's just like crouched down in his crouch form obviously he's not going to spawn yet because he's still in that crouch form and then once he's done he's back in the fight he goes and does a little floaty and you can actually hit him in the air here if you get the timing right 
now, after he does that, you can get a little bit of shots off. But unfortunately, my aim here, his head's just not popping up. So his head doesn't pop up and the auto aim keeps me on like a bad spot. So I didn't do too much damage to him. I could have done a lot more there. And when he does that lightning hit, it can do a bit of damage. You can just move out of the way. It's not really the end of the world. Again, standing still, bosses can't hit you. Obviously, this is going to hit me, this lightning. So I'm just going to move over here. But it's not going to really hit me. Oh, it did actually hit me. But it's okay. We took him out really easy. Again, using the automatic weapons recommended. This time, you get Zeus's uh, marksman right you also get the medallion as well and you get Zeus's thunderbolts as well thunderbolts of Zeus you can check out the medallion what does this one do let's have a read of it see what it does so it's going to give you run faster and allow you to jump higher while sprinting it will reveal your location on the map so it's like Zeus's speed really cool so we've now got three medallions unfortunately I can't open my inventory and show you guys but you can see I'm still doing the dash from Hades we've also got Zeus's one which is like using a chili pepper you can see we're moving a lot faster we're using Hades' dash and unfortunately the siphon one we have from Hades isn't going to work in this game because there are no players. Anyway, let's head over to the location of our final boss. And we're going to get all four in one game, which is going to be the first time on YouTube. Super exciting stuff. Let's head on over to the location of, I believe, it's going to be our boy Ares. So, that's where he's located over at the Brawler's Battleground. So, if we head in there, we will find Ares. We'll be able to take him out nicely. You can see I'm just running over using my two abilities here. I've got my speed and I've also got my underworld kind of like move forward push type ability it's super cool you can dash left right center it does take a little bit of time to charge i don't know where you can see the charge meter either i guess you've just got to listen out for the effect maybe if i could open my inventory i could see it on the medallion but oh well okay so now we have arrived at brawler's battleground and now this is the summoning point for the final boss which is Ares. this one's a different fight as well Ares spawns not straight away again his npcs spawn first you've got to take these out we're going to use zeus's marksman there's two shots them which is pretty neat again i probably wouldn't recommend using this rifle i would take an automatic one any day over this we're just having a little go at it see what it's like if you are challenging hades with normal weapons do take two automatic rifles so you don't have to reload even three is the best option and remember standing still is also the best option so you don't get hit if you don't if there's no enemies around standing still is the best thing to do against npcs can't hit you the most likely always missed oh there's a nice little dash in the air there we are nice little one there on Ares. and Ares should be spawning in in a second i think is he going to be spawning when is he going to be spawning we'll, we'll try zeus's ability see what that's like on the bosses but there he is so he spawned in i'm going to use this see what it's like aim aim 80 and not that good actually because you stood still in the air the npcs do hit you when you're there in the air so that's not that good i wouldn't recommend using zeus's lightning on other bosses but you can see the marksman's pretty good, but again, best one here will be an automatic one, which we'll switch to in a second, because you can see Hades is getting a few shots off of me. I am standing still. Only one bullet out of this whole mag actually hits, though, just because they're not very accurate. Finish him off from a shotgun distance. Unfortunately, I didn't have another auto weapon. And there we go. Ares is down. Let's check out his medallion and see what that does. Aspect of combat, prepare for war versus ranged weapons with increased damage but it will reveal your location okay that's cool so ranged weapons have increased damage i wonder if that counts for all ranged weapons including assault rifles i think it'll probably be only scope weapons mainly like snipers and maybe zeus's dmr it may work on ars as well so that's a pretty good buff it's like stopping power it's pretty effective i recommend going for it anyway that's it for today's video if you want to try out all the weapons in creative don't forget to head into tobots with the map code on screen hope you guys enjoyed the challenge we completed it all four bosses in one game see you guys soon peace